temple is not just bricks and mortar built by the hands of men. It is the house of God on earth, his home, the Holy of Holies, and it's under threat. Within days, a statue of the Roman Emperor will arrive in Jerusalem. He demands it be placed inside the temple and that we should worship it! If God's house is defiled by this abomination, he will remove himself. He will leave the temple, and he will leave us. Our crops will rot and fail. Famine and plague will dance upon the land. Our children will starve. Our enemies will delight in our weakness, and we shall be helpless to oppose them. We cannot allow it! We will not allow it! Don't stop! Don't stop! Don't give them a reason to look! Well, please, sir. Help yourself. They're yeah, good, huh? Mm. That yeah. is why I speak to you now. We must come together to protect the temple. Every sect, every creed, every town, every region, we must set aside our differences. Now is the time for brotherhood and unity to let a hundred thousand speak with one voice. We stand with you, High Priest. Go to your people. Call them to stand with the temple. Rumors that this statue is made of pure gold. <laughs> Clearly, there are no limits to this emperor's vanity. We should be grateful. His arrogance will enrage the city and bring thousands more to the cause. It is fortunate that I am here and able to help. It's not just chance. It is God's will. We are ordained to succeed. Yes, I believe we are. And my queen will be thrilled when she learns what I have done. Our victory will be celebrated. Not just in Ethiopia. We will give the rest of the world confidence to fight back. We are lighting a fire that will burn Rome to cinders. You've done enough. The widows will collect these later. They asked me to thank you for your charity, but I'm not finished. Your wounds are too raw, Tabitha. You're losing too much blood. You must rest. I feel much better. And this makes me feel that I'm contributing. Please rest. I enjoy it. I have my sewing, and the men have their very long and very important conversations. <laughs> They were all on their feet, cheering the high priest. And as I listened to him, I... Well, forgive me, but I couldn't help but imagine it was myself in his place, but I was talking about Jesus Christ. Can you see what that could be like for all of us? Imagine being able to speak his name without fear. Yes, yes, and more than that, imagine being able to influence the Sanhedrin from within. No more hiding in the dark, no more whispering his name. What do you say? Hmm? And you really think Caiaphas is going to give you all this? Yes. And what will he want in return? Well, we will negotiate, you and I. Not me. Not with the man that killed Jesus. Peter, this is our chance to take the Church of Jesus forward. Oh, no, I have to keep you all safe. Away from him. We don't need the temple. Let me at least speak to him. I am no novice. I will press him. I hard. will not deny our Lord again! Hey, 
Just boys. Move on. My brothers! My brothers, you have come because you know that God calls upon you to defend his temple against this abomination. We will unleash a righteous wave that will cleanse the temple of its corrupt priesthood and wash every last trace of Rome from our land. Ethiopia has given us weapons and the means to make our own. We have the implements to cut out this Roman infection. But we need pious hands to put them into your hands. So are you with us? I see Caiaphas has sent his little rodent to spy. No. I've been sent with a message. The high priest extends an invitation to discuss how we proceed together. Liar. Take him away. I'd like to increase the number of patrols around Jerusalem. Putting men on the streets is an act of provocation. We're a holding force, not an army. More men will help hide this fact. Very well. Double the number of patrols. We'll get through this. We always do. This miserable city. Look at you. You haven't touched your food. The centurion's worries don't help. Is there anything I can do? Name it and it's done. Perhaps there is something. The Nazarene woman. Joanna. Release her. What is your interest in this woman? Only one of empathy. Empathy breeds Weakness, Claudia, and we are not weak. I don't see how my showing concern... You are not weak. Do you understand me? I've upset you. No. Your words make a lot of sense. But I've been too bold. You... you are the rock. Your concern for our safety is... James, please, you've done nothing wrong except speak better than I can. And we could not hope for anyone better to fight our cause. I only want an end to the persecution. I cannot forget what that man did to Jesus. When Jesus was on the cross, when the pain was so great that his body would contort and shake, he cried out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. If he asks it of God, then he asks it of us too. Yes, of course. James will talk to the high priest, and we will finally see an end to our persecution. Let's go together. No, my presence won't help. Then tell me what terms you'll accept. I have faith in your judgment. And God will guide you. But I must leave Jerusalem. Well, where are you going? Out there. To preach. My priest, I must remind you of your own pledge. An end to the persecution and arrest 
of those who follow Jesus. It must stop immediately. You're setting conditions for me. Very well. I end it now. Thank you. It must surely follow that we be free to preach openly. There are limits to what's acceptable. The Romans are a very literal people. They take any mention of kings at face value and call it sedition. Saying Jesus is a king endangers the temple. Then we'll be cautious. And you'll refrain from saying he's the Messiah. But that is the truth. Your truth will offend many. And I may not be able to protect you. We wish to sit in the temple and win respect, not offend anyone. But we will not be censored. He is the Messiah. You're not shy in your requests, are you? He is the Son of God. He is resurrected. And he will return. Well, if you will not be persuaded otherwise... I won't. Then let it be so. I trust you will remember my generosity in the days to come. Success. We're allowed back? We are. <laughs> Come in. Arms. Arms for the poor. Thank you. <gasps> Tabitha, somebody help me. We need to get her back to the house. I'm sorry, Mary. I should have listened to you. No, don't worry. I'm here. Mary, take me home. To my family. To Joppa. Please, I have to see them again before I die. I'm not sure you'll get that far. We have to. Then let's hurry up. I hope you take it. No, I must do it. This is my fault. Because of me, they're going to execute Joanna. I can't lose Tabitha, too. Joanna. It's God's will. I trust in him. Please, I am. Um, you need to eat to keep your strength up. Thank you. Has your husband decided when it will be done? He doesn't get to decide everything. Stop there. Women, pigs. Relax. Besides, they are looking in the wrong cards. You seen how they've increased their numbers? It's only natural. They feel threatened. Sit. What do you want? Levi sent me. He's concerned you're too... visible. Why? Do I not blend in? <laughs> Still, there is no sense in drawing attention to yourself. Here of all places. Let me explain something to you. I am a visiting dignitary here to be seen. I have nothing to hide, no hidden agenda. But the moment I disappear from view, then I draw attention to myself. They begin to ask questions. So, can I invisible? 
I am untouchable. Now, let us consider your responsibilities, shall we? The Temple Spy. Could make my life very uncomfortable. Do I have your assurance that he will not be a problem? Let me make my peace with God. <laughs> Hear, O oh Israel. The Lord is our God. Enough! Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever Enough, and ever. Enough, I said! You shall love the Lord your God with those... <laughs> he saw Ethiopian weapons the zealots have the will and now they have the means they will turn this crisis into war I knew that they'd try but I never thought they'd be able we must go to Pilate tell him about their plans let him deal with them we can't we'll be damned as collaborators in their eyes we already are collaborators the zealots want us dead can't you see so I control them it's too late they already have weapons. And this revolt will never succeed. Rome will crush it and crush us with it. And you know that. Go to Pilate. Save this city from a Roman massacre. Are you suggesting that we open the doors and allow the temple to be defiled? God will leave the temple for a time, yes. And we will suffer in his absence. But he will hear our prayers. And in time, the temple will be cleansed and God will return. No. Never. Never. I refuse to be the high priest who allowed God to abandon us. Never! Uncertain, but I bring you God's message. Salvation will be found in the name of Jesus Christ. Philip. Philip. What brings you here? I thought you'd be in Jerusalem. I was coming back to be with you all. You've been doing so well. Your work in Samaria. Many more have come to Jesus. But how can I ignore Jerusalem? It's our home. It's the center of everything. Jesus told us to spread his word to the ends of the earth. Your work is vital. So what should I do now? Go to the south. To the desert road that leads from Jerusalem to Gaza. We should go, right now. Go where? The Gaza Road. What are you talking about? If you didn't see the angel. Go, do as the angel commanded. And I'll press on towards Joppa.
You're home now, Tabitha. I'm not ready to die. My God. The mother. She's injured. It's her back. I must speak to Pilot. To what purpose? You asked me for my help. I have information that will prevent a massacre. And why the secrecy? If you want my help. Because I must betray both those I hate. And those that I love. I think you need to hear what she has to say. The Zealots have formed an alliance with Ethiopia. They are armed and are using Caligula's statue as a catalyst. They plan to launch a huge uprising against Rome. Get the Ethiopians' weapons. We still have our own. Come with me. To what end? What is this nonsense? I am my queen's chief treasurer. Any harm to me would be an act of war. Importing weapons is an act of war? Possibly. But you are in no position to provoke Ethiopia. You have no regard for your tongue. I just want to remind you that your new emperor doesn't seem to care for this region. You are out here on your own. So your queen would risk an attack on the empire, would she? She would relish the opportunity. I don't think she would. I don't think she even knows about this, does she? You've overstepped the mark. She trusts me implicitly. And so her disappointment in you will be all the greater. Bring his things. Diplomacy does indeed prevent me from killing you. But I shall write to your queen. I imagine you will never be able to return to Ethiopia again. And after you'd given up so much for her. Your men shall remain here as slaves to their superiors. Pick it up. as a reminder of your foolishness. Remove this creature from my city.
These are days that test our faith to their limit. When we feel injustice and outrage churning in our hearts. Who fills us with soldiers? We still have weapons. And God still favors us, you told me so. Yes, you're right, our cause is just. But I won't forget this. Rome threatens our temple, throws a shadow of fear over our city. But you will find light and salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Fine words. But words won't protect the temple. I told you, I'm loyal to the cause. And when the Romans charge us, will you still be loyal then with a sword in your hand? For the continued peace of the region. What are you doing? I am composing an amusing little note to our dear friend, the great queen of Ethiopia. You did well today, Claudia. Thank you. Having brought Leia to you, and her information, I was wondering if perhaps, as a favor in kind, you might consider releasing the Nazarene woman. Firstly, this revolt is still very much alive. And second, you bring information to me as a matter of course, because you are my wife, it is your duty. But that's... I would hate to think that you only brought Leia to me because you thought you might exploit the opportunity. I did what was right, to prevent war. And you have a duty, as my husband, to listen to my advice. She will be put to death, Claudia. She has to be. And that's the end of it. Read it back to me. Open the door. You know who I am, don't you? Open the door. And if you don't, you'll have to explain why not to my husband. Unnatural. What has she done to you? She's done nothing. She preys upon others and twists their minds. She poisoned the ear of that young seamstress and now she's doing the same to you. No. I just believe it is wrong that she should suffer. And so you would betray me? For a stranger? What spell has she cast upon you? Why would you want to shame me with her escape? Very well. You shall have your wish. You may choose to set her free now. By strangulation, or let her go to the cross. Look at her. She's already halfway there. All it takes is a little squeeze. You're a monster. You think you are trying to save her from me. But I'm trying to save you. Don't make me choose. 
I will choose. Very well. Cornelius. In the name of Christ, I forgive you. This ends here. Do you understand? Prepare. Begin. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter. As a lamb before his shearer is silent, so he did not open his mouth. In his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who shall speak of his descendants? For his life was taken from the earth. You look to have fallen on the hard times, friend. Indeed. And I have fallen hard. Do you need help? I've repaired a few wheels in my time. Thank you. Please. The passage we were reading just now, my Zaire. Does it bring you comfort? I had hoped it would, but I am struggling to understand it. Does the prophet speak of himself or of someone else? He's talking of a man who knew great suffering and humiliation. A man who taught us that through faith we will find salvation in him. Who is this man? He is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. and taking the word of Jesus to the corners of the world. Do you repent your sins? I do. I do. I have looked past God. I have been proud and I have been conceited. I have been an ambassador for violence and hate. That is past. What matters 
is who you now choose to be. Huh. Are you ready? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who died on the cross and rose again on the third day? I do. Then in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I baptize you. the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. Small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life. And only a few find it. I promised Tabitha I wouldn't let her die. I thought my faith would be enough. She was so sweet. And so happy to have found Jesus. I'm responsible for her death. You are not responsible. It is God's will. Will you come and see her? Don't be afraid. This is Peter, the man I told you about. What did you tell them about me, Mary? I told them the truth. And why have you brought me here? Because I believe you can help her.
John, what is it? A statue. A statue of the Emperor. It's here. Well, now, here it is. What do you want? When I decree it, the statue will be escorted to the temple. There it shall be placed in the court of the women, and there it shall remain until I tell you otherwise. Governor. The only uncertainty regards the number of deaths. And that's where you become useful. We cannot help you. And I thought we were friends. Your wife and I are friends, aren't we? Do you know that your wife... He's lying. Your wife... came to me... and helped me expose a conspiracy between Ethiopia and the Zealots. It's our little secret. And I am in your debt. But her outburst just now... makes me wonder... were you not aware of this? Maybe I owe you nothing after all. My wife delivered this information with my knowledge and approval. But I myself am untainted by her actions. So there is no debt, but you also have no means by which to blackmail me or the temple, which seems to me to be the true purpose of our conversation today. You have no allies here. No one to bribe or bully. And the statue will never, ever enter the temple. So you say. But when it comes to it, and my men march toward you, how will you stop us? We need to get out of Jerusalem. Why would you abandon the temple? Because Jesus warned us. These are the beginnings of sorrows. There won't be a single stone of the temple left standing, Simon. Remember what he told us. There will be earthquakes and famine and troubles. So we should pack up and go to the hills. Yes, let's do that. The Romans were about to make Jerusalem worship a false idol. It's not our fight, not anymore. Who is that? A messenger from the high priest. Saying what? Just that he wants to see me. On the same day that the statue arrives. He wants us to fight for him. And why wouldn't we? Because they will cut us to pieces. Why do we believe him when he offered a sanctuary? He's always just waiting for a chance to use us. We don't know that. Not yet. In the name of Christ, I forgive you. Cornelius, God has looked kindly on your sorrow and repentance. Send men to Joppa and find a man called Peter who's staying with Simon and Tanner near the sea. Peter, these are looked upon as unclean. But do not call anything impure that God has cleansed. Three men downstairs. They have come for you. Go with them. Don't be afraid, because I have sent them. Peter. There are men downstairs. Why are you 
you smiling? You're Peter. I am. I had a... I'm not, I'm not sure what I should call it, not a dream. I was awake, but... I was visited. By... I know, I know not what. An angel. And, and I heard your name. I have been a witness and party to many terrible deeds. And I saw your Jesus die. And these hands, my mind, my heart, screams enough. My friend Joanna, how is she? Thank you for coming so swiftly. Well, when the high priest calls... I've seen some of your brethren at the temple. Their delight has been heartwarming. You know about the statue? Yes, of course. See, I am trying to unite the city against this abomination. And I believe that if we all put our differences aside and stand as one, then we can repel this barbarity. Well, that is certainly a noble intention. But, um, we cannot help. I'm sorry. I led you back in. I, I offered you safety. With hidden conditions, it seems. Oh, so suddenly you owe me nothing. What about the temple? The building which, until this Jesus appeared, was the center of your universe. Do you feel nothing for it? Of course I do. But I worship Jesus now. I will split you from your loved ones. I will drive your followers and their children into the wilderness. I will beat and flog and stone you all. No one will escape. How quickly you slip into threats. They were right about you after all. No. No! I am trying to save our city! But you have no interest in anything but yourselves! Get out. Get out! Do you think Pilate noticed? I did what I had to. I think he saw through me. He 
He realized that I have no control over my wife, that she lies to my face. Someone had to make the decision. Goes behind my back. It had to be done. What would happen if pilots told the zealots what you did? They would kill me. The temple would be endangered. The temple, Leia! Who cares about you, about an individual, a family? You're no better than the Nazarenes. I did it for us. And you broke my heart in the process. Go home. From now on, you will stay there. You are a wife to me in name only. You're just a name, a shadow. Without me, you would never be high priest. Without my Stop family... Stop talking. No one's listening. I have to know God's plan for me. What has he told you? What has God told me? I'm not sure. I'm just a fisherman. But I've been commanded to preach his message to the ends of the earth. And now I see that you may also find the salvation that Jesus offers. So if I am to do this, then I must welcome you and baptize you. Abana Allah di fi sama li yuqaddasa ismuk li yati malakutuk li takun mashi'atak fi sama i kama fi al-ard Abana Allah di fi sama li yuqaddasa ismuk 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 this is why we came. This is our mission. daughter had forgotten us. I apologize. I'm worried about my husband. I think the burden of his office has overwhelmed him. He's become irrational, sometimes violent. He no longer behaves in a way befitting the role of high priest. And what would you have me do about it? Well, the temple is no longer safe. It needs your stable influence. You want us to remove Caiaphas from office? I think it would be in our family's interest. Does your poor husband have any idea of what you're plotting? But do you not want to become high priest? He is uniting the nation there. Every sect in Jerusalem and beyond has flocked to his side. Any attempt to remove him now would only weaken us all. You're afraid? Stop it. Stop it now. Caiaphas is untouchable. Only death can rob him of his position. Go back to your husband. No one can help you with this. She is dangerous. Beyond control. And she'll drag us down if we're not careful. So what shall we do with her? Leave us. I am the governor of Judea. I have responsibilities. If I refuse to do this, I will be killed. And a new man will gleefully do it instead. And you'll be lost too. 
So I have no choice. What is the matter with you? You enjoy it. Is this about that woman? That stupid Jesus follower. She was nothing. A symbol. A moment of anger. A reminder that you must remain loyal to me. That's all. Is that all she was? Of course. I will not dine with you and watch you gloat. But you are my wife. You are my wife. Now I am fighting them all on my own. And I am winning. But I cannot fight against you too. Maybe you cannot win every battle. Oh yes, I can. You will prepare our evening in exquisite detail. And you will look beautiful as you always do. And together, we will win. This is our life. Yours and mine. Please, stay with us for a few more days. We're all eager to hear more of Jesus' words. <laughs> I don't think this little one will let me go. <laughs> I can't let you go either. <laughs> I feel so alive. My skin prickles with it. I'm, I, I wish I had the words. I'm, I feel full. Full up. Ready to burst. Centurion. What is it? Now, you can speak. You'll need it back in Jerusalem, urgently. Because? The statue of our emperor has arrived. The governor has ordered you to ensure its safe passage to the temple. Thank you. Um, I, I must go back. We must, too. Uh... You can't do it. No, I can't, but I'm a Roman and a soldier with orders. You have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, but I'm still a soldier. So what will you do? I will... I will pray that the Holy Spirit will guide me. find you afterwards.
But it was my husband who betrayed you. He's looking for you. How is your family? Uh, well, thank you. Are you ready to carry out your duties? I was led to the disciples of the Nazarene yesterday. Led by whom? An angel. Uh, it's true. I swear, it was like a dream. Except that I was always awake. And I understand their faith now. I believe. You believe? Yes. So quickly. It's a beautiful thing. And it could be our escape. I think my husband is losing his mind. So leave him. Come and follow this new faith. Come and follow Jesus. You ask a lot. I need to think. I'm here. Whenever you need. was genuine. I really thought we had a chance to end the... Let's get out of the city. Quite. Go to the hills and wait for Jesus to return. Exactly. No one's moving. What if this isn't the moment that Jesus comes back? What if when it's all over there are no troubles, no famine, just a temple that we abandoned when it needed us most? The high priest would come after us. Can't act out of fear. No, we must follow our conscience. Thousands will die. Do you want us to get caught up in that? Our job is to go out and preach, not fight. Peter. Peter, the Romans, you know what they're like. You know what they do. Thomas is right. This is not our fight. But if we walk away and abandon the building that Jesus called his father's house, if we do not try to stop thousands from dying, if we do nothing and we're not just like the priest that Jesus told us about, the one that walked on the other side of the road and ignored the man who'd been attacked by robbers, So we have to act. We have to help. In any way we can. The nuts go. I've heard from the schools of Shammai and Hillel. They will all stand with you. It's nearly time. Before you go, I... I need to talk to you about your wife. Are you ready? Yes, Governor. You have enough men, they understand their duties? They do. I would not trust this to any other man. What's the matter? Nothing. The good men. This city must be taught a lesson today. If the crowd tries to impede your progress,
It's coming. Stand aside, High Priest. I have my orders. Please stand aside. Centurion. You can kill me with a single blow, but I will instantly be replaced. And so will the next man, and the next. Even you cannot murder everyone in Jerusalem.
Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I dwell amongst lions, forced to live amidst ravenous beasts, men whose teeth are spears and arrows, as we forgive those who trespass against us. What now, sir? I'm sorry. There was a sudden rush. We killed them all, of course, but... We couldn't save the statue. We did try, Century. Oh, I'm sure. If we must fall on our swords for our failures, then... There'll be no more death today. Get the man in the statue back to the palace. No, sir. Right away. Are you hurt? Me? No, why? I thought I saw you fall. You have your orders. You were right. The prophecy would not be fulfilled today. And the temple is saved. But what about Jesus? Oh, I thought this was it. I thought I would see him again. Today, now. You see the centurion? He didn't fight. None of you see him. He knelt. He knelt before you, Peter. That's in Why would he do such a thing? Because I baptized him. You did what? You'll send another. 
And then another. I can't believe it's not over. What do you think? What do you care? I'll bring in more men next time. I'll crucify 40 women in the morning to keep them in the houses. Kill anyone who's seen on the streets. That'll do the trick. I need to speak with Cornelius. We can win this. I just need to be tougher with them. Your plans disgust me. They come with a job. I loathe you. I need to see the high priest and his wife. Face them down. You will organize food and drink to mask any unpleasantness, yes? Are you not listening? I cannot bear to be one more moment in your presence. Where would you go? Somewhere you could never find me. You've seen how I deal with my enemies. You don't think I would fight as hard for you? You almost make it sound romantic. You know who I am. And what I am. And we are bound together. Can I cut our ties? I slash them apart. You will never see me again. Come back. No. Come back. Is he ready for me? The governor, he summoned me. I... I suppose. And I shouldn't keep him waiting. How many did you kill? I killed no one. I abandoned my post. I don't know how I'm still alive. You didn't fight. Did anyone see? Possibly. And then... If my husband learns the truth... I'll be executed as a traitor. We can run. I have money. Money enough to buy us protection. Where would we go? <laughs> to the ends of the earth. You really want me to leave him? Of course. You're so unhappy. You want me to leave him for you? For Jesus. My wife and children are packed and ready to leave. We'll find Peter and the other apostles and have you baptized. You'll find such happiness. It doesn't matter where we live once we have him in our hearts. Claudine? I'm a fool. I'm such a fool. It's a big decision, one fraught with danger, but... I am the wife of the governor of Judea. How can I? No one will be turned away. For all my sins, they took me in. You don't understand. <laughs> you can be free. I cannot. Claudia! He calls. I must go.
God came to me. I was hesitant, not sure of his meaning. But a Roman. I was doubtful too. And I know how strange it may seem. You! 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 You will come with me now. 